Hello Scorpio and welcome to Healing Dove Tarot. Scorpio, it's a quick three card spread for your week ahead. Three cards from the tarot, one card for your romantic energy from the oracles, one for your health and one for your wealth. So let's get started. Universe and angels, messages and guides, my higher self, I call upon you now to give me a clear and accurate reading for the sign of Scorpio. Please tell me what they need to hear, not what they want to hear for their week ahead. Thank you, Spirit. Can I please have three cards? What are the most important messages for Scorpio? Week beginning the 16th of November, 2020. Thank you. Another two, please. How are you guys? I have missed you. I know I've been slack. I did a little teaser update for the rest of the year. Pick a card reading. Um, I've just been crazy busy in my day job and I find it difficult to have the energy um, I'm not going to take those guys. It's just my poor shuffle. I want the card to pop and it should pop out face down. Um, so that's why I've been, I've just been trying to focus on that. I can't give to you if I don't give to myself before, before first, blah, blah, I can't even speak. I preach that. So I've got to do it myself. So that's what I've been doing. Nice card Scorpio. And I'm not surprised because you have a new moon in your sign. Finally, do, 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 do. Uh, Aquarius, you have Aquarius energy around you. There's also a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You've been in indecision about work, okay? Um, and there's an opportunity coming to you this week. Please, whatever you do, do not sign. The energy is not right. We have Mars still retrograde. We've just come out of Mercury. It's still in its shadow period. What that means is Mercury has been retrograde. It didn't actually go backwards in the sky, but it changed the energy um, and it's still great gaining momentum as it goes forward. This is not the best time to start anything new, but you can explore options, okay? In other words, don't rush the process. One card, please, for the romantic energy. <clears throat> One card, please. Yeah, it's like romance is not happening because the cards are blocked. They're not giving me anything. Two cards. Wow. <sighs> Definitely, I'm just getting Korea. Um... Some of you, you're in a job with a boss that's a bit of a tyrant. Um, I see healing energy, like if they've been riding you pretty hard. We've just had Jupiter conjunct um, Pluto on the 12th. What's really interesting is that um, that happened again in April earlier this year. Um, that actual energy is the last time that we saw that kind of planetary alignment, and you can go Google it and have a look, was back when we had this, the Spanish flu in terms of pandemic. And it usually, whenever planets are moving in the sky, there's a six month period, right? When it comes to astrology. So when that happened in April, we just wrapped it up last week on the 12th. So that's the last final conjunction that we've seen come through for these two magnificent planets. And that's why in a lot of areas like the States and the UK, we're seeing that influx of COVID coming through. It's that last little wave of boost. And now we'll start to see the healing energy. Unfortunately for you, it's kind of the same Scorpio not in pandemic wise, but it means that you're going through that same period. Something that happened to you in April, and I feel like it's to do with your career, is finally coming full circle and you're getting the healing energy now. One more card, please. Thank you, Spirit. One card. There it is. Okay. All right. So you have King of Wands. Page of Pentacles. So this is uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, as I mentioned before, this is a boss. This is someone that uh, really knows who they are, what they're doing, what they're bringing out into the world. And it's coupled with the Page of Pentacles. So they're either bringing you an opportunity or someone you used to work with is giving you an opportunity this week. Um, don't sign any papers, as I said before. I really want you to take your time and think about it. It's coupled with the star. So this is a card of wish fulfillment. It also represents the sign of Aquarius. So this is like your dreams coming true, something you've been trying to manifest, a new opportunity, something that could bring you um, quite a lot of happiness, and then the money will come from that as well. The Page of Pentacles, you can see he's holding this tiny little coin. It's this tiny little coin in the palm of his hands. It's not like a, a windfall, like the Ten of Pentacles or the Six of Pentacles where you're getting a loan. This is like the tiny little seed, the beginning, the bud of an opportunity coming towards you. Someone's just putting the idea out. Often I see this as like an interview. You could potentially have an interview this week. 
Um, the person that will be interviewing you is very charismatic. They know their shit. So do your research. Don't go in underprepared, okay? Over research, all right? Um, but I think you've really wanted this opportunity. You've drawn it in. You've been applying for jobs. There's one particular one. Um, it's going to bring you a lot of balance and harmony. <laughs> so you got two cards for your romantic energy this week. Someone new is coming in. There's an attraction and it talks to you about expressing love. I feel like you've kind of been holding yourself back for a little while, Scorpio, because you've not been wanting to put yourself forward. You've kind of been too up in your head about this shit. So you haven't been able to be your usual, um, very sensual, charming self. And damn, you guys are sensual. Like you have this magnetic energy, right? This week it's telling you to actually just enjoy the attraction. Someone new is definitely coming into your space. Um, will that be something long-term? Who knows, who cares? Don't try and overthink it. Just go with the vibe, go with the energy, express your love. If they make you feel giddy, tell them. If you just wanna jump their bones, do it. If this is like a re-energy with your romantic partner and you're coupled and you've been a little bit stagnant, then do that romantic thing that you both like to do. Um, you know, make them a bath, cook them dinner, whatever it may be, because the energy's there and it's telling you to express your love and enjoy the attraction. Health-wise, get a second opinion. Whatever it is that's been going on, and again, I get so much gut stuff with you. Like, my tummy is churning, it's nausea, it's um, butterflies, it's, it's that... Um, anxiety feeling but it's also not just anxiety it's that um, sickness feeling like um, when you haven't slept really well and you're a little bit hungry that kind of vibe it's asking you to get a second opinion I feel like for some of you it could be stomach ulcers and for others of you it could be liver related <laughs> so if you've been drinking too much Scorpio which is the flip side of your sign when you can't figure out shit in your head you tend to party quite a fair bit it's like your release then the um, invitation this week is to get a second opinion. Go run some tests on your liver. I'm picking up on that heavy. Um, milk thistle is really good for that as well. And finally, the card that came out and flipped up in the upright, your most important message for this week is about finding your tribe, finding your new people. As always, I'm gonna read it to you from the book. Um, essentially, it's about um, being seen and understood for who you are um, and, finding, and finding the right people, your community. Okay, so it says, Whenever you're in a community of like-minded others, there's a powerful opportunity to reap great abundance. It's essential to ask, what can I contribute rather than what can I get from this? Like if anything, if you actually give before you receive, you watch it flow back, you'll be just amazed. Figure out a need to look before you jump. Something meaningful will manifest, even if it manifests is small, you can't make this shit up, right? Even if what it is is small and seems meaningless, it will actually swing open doors to new opportunities. There is another meaning of this card to consider. Don't try to be all things to all people. Choose your role and be true to it and serve from a sense of authenticity. There is no greater feeling of accomplishment than knowing you have a purpose. Be authentic, be your true self, don't give a fuck what anyone else thinks. And if there is a small opportunity that's coming in, don't overlook it because you think, ah, oh, no, that's not for me. Give it its due course, all right? Just give it, hear it out. All right, my loves, that was your reading for this week. I hope you found it helpful. It was a pleasure doing it for you as always. If you did, please hit the like button. It helps the channel more than you know. And I'll be back with you next week. Take care.